Jerusalem on the horizon and the Dead Sea shining in these beautiful morning hours, I am in the heart of the Judean desert. And some 2,200 years ago, the Maccabees established a kingdom whose center is Jerusalem, but used this area to build up a set of fortified palaces to be their treasuries, their hides out, and maybe create a frontier against a potential threat from the east of the Nabataeans or the Parthians. A century later, King Herod will take over and will use these places and add a few more of his own. One of them he named humbly after himself, Herodian. And centuries later, Christian monks will settle in those sites, one of them at least because it's very important for the Christian world, Machaelus. The son of Herod, Herod Antipas, executed John the Baptist at that specific site. But after the Muslim conquest, these sites will be abandoned and even their location will be forgotten. Only in the 19th century will they be rediscovered. Some will be completely excavated like Masada. Most of them are still waiting to be properly exposed. And nothing like this beautiful winter morning and a good off-road vehicle to explore these fascinating destinations. Hyrcania, named after John Hyrcanus, the first Maccabean king that also minted coins. He was definitely a powerful king and he was probably the first one to modify this mountain peak and turn it into a lavish desert fortified palace. It was used by the Maccabees, it was used by Herod. In fact, Herod even executed his oldest son here at Hyrcania, according to Josephus, the first century Jewish historian. And centuries later, Christian monks settled on the top. Remains of their monastery are still visible here. You can also see very well the remains of the aqueduct, of the elaborate water system that provided water in this desert site. And yet to this day, Hyrcania, unlike Masada, for instance, has not been excavated. Such a fascinating place. I so wish that it would receive its proper archaeological expedition. Hyrcania is not only the mound, around it there are some very impressive remains of a water system that brought uh, flood water into the site. And there's also a great mystery around it. Here in this dry riverbed there are two tunnels, one 50 meters long, the other one is over 100 meters long, and they both go into nothing. They were planned to maybe house something or bury someone, maybe the treasures of the Maccabees, maybe they were for the burial of Herod's son, which Josephus records that he was buried in Hyrcania. We just don't know. It's a big project that perhaps was never completed. But the most fascinating possibility is to link it to the Copper Scroll, one of the Dead Sea Scrolls that mentions hordes of gold and silver, and one of them is said to be in a tunnel in the valley of Achor beneath Haruba. Was this planned to be a hiding place for one of the treasures of the Copper Scroll? That's a fascinating possibility.